comes the axe. Prove yourself. Next, the next level play, dude. The next level play. Okay, they, they are contesting here. Um, Demetri hasn't put down any webs, so um, he can go to whichever lane he wants, and they're just going to try and contest this. this uh, I mean, roll. they've contested. They're trying to contest both sides. Next, the next level play, dude. The next level play. Like they, they are contesting here. Um, Demetri hasn't put down any webs, so um, he can go to whichever lane he wants, and they're just going to try and contest this. This uh, I mean, roll. they've contested. They're trying to contest both sides. Demetri just going to be. Trying to pick up a few spiderlings. This is the soul ring now, and that's going to help a lot in terms of staying in lane. 11 HP regen as the tree. Um, triangle. As and this is buying so much space as well for their safe lane. So, I mean, sorry, yeah, yeah for the safe lane of Shatan's coming in to try to contest this rune. Hold the magic missile as long as possible, but he probably will go down for it at this stage. He's just taken way too much damage. The tree just hurts so much. Just get punched, dude. Oh, the south. The south will save him. Um, There's another leech seed, though. Ah, there it is. And he is the. Oh, okay. There's a leech seed to finish things off. And it's going to keep him alive. Beastmaster going to try his best to duel it out. But where's the Whirling Axes? Not coming out just yet. Needs to hit this. And he will be able to at least secure the um, kill streak ended, actually. So a bit of gold going over to this uh, Beastmaster. Yeah, it is good for him to, to get that kill. Um, this is that medallion. also difficult for Kunker because you're going to be taking a lot of tower damage at the stage. And when you lose that tower, it just becomes almost nigh near impossible to. To kind of defend and farm up. Oh, just to see um, when you have these high MR players and these uh, and these good teams playing against each other, and they they really want to get favorable matchups. But Boone goes is a, down. <laughs> this is a very favorable matchup because whatever he can at this stage. Yeah, he's here just for levels, I think. Jeez, oh, they, Andrews can just punch him, and there's going to be one more punch coming out. It's not okay. going to be the punch; it's going to be the arrow. And fire net worth either, so he's actually doing really well. This has actually worked out surprisingly well for okay, Fox. Oh, going Xavier. for a roar, but where's the stun coming in? He needs to use another leap charge. He still has two, trying to hold it, and he will be able to get out safely. Is there going to be X marks the spots as the Whirling Axe is going to miss? So, Lord Boons, good rotation. It's one of those situations where... It's like, it's like what I was talking about in the oh, draft, Oh, he's got right? Defusal. That's a big... That's <laughs> that's a solo kill item, yeah. that is. So, Bala goes down to the top tier two. Uh, look how much damage has been done and Bala should actually go down here so um, needs to just fight it out. He's acti Oh, he's activated the lifesteal just in time and will be able to walk out because with the defusal blade not enough mana and Trian I think cancelled the TP as well. Yeah, I think maybe he's um, well so Fox are going to try and get something done bottom. Yep, they should be able to. And Smag's just here just to have some... Uh... Oh, the swap comes out from Shatan. That's so smart in the tree line. So Spag, he won't get his plus two IQ, but now with Snow coming in, hey, maybe they'll still get something. Ooh. Oh, my goodness, that hurts. Get Tidebringed. Oof. Get another Tidebringed, because... Um... This is a really deep dive. They've got the vision onto at least Triant, but Bala's come in now. Spag might have gone a little bit too deep. A two-man stun, as a matter of fact. Snow, though, is hitting quite hard at this stage. Frost arrows just slowing down Bala. Nothing he can do, but the tree toss goes into Snow. And Snow is going to be able to safely back out. But Zemistry, what do you mean? He's already in the tier three, just diving in. Oh, wait, it's a Broodmother, of course. Super creeps in, like, 20. Oh, no, and, Oh, no. Kungda is uh, a good dodge. And the, the boat's coming out. The boat. Oh, it's going to be dodged. Zemistry is going to get the kills with the spiderlings as well. He was almost able to armor toggle with the, uh, the boat coming in. Oh, no. So many webs. Spag can't run fast enough. Oh, no. He's going to be frozen as well. And he's going to die. <sighs> he's like just, has... just pushing in the bottom tier two tower. But they're going to start coming up to the top lane, but they need to be cautious because I think Tiny spotted this out. Good silence, though. VS should go down as they were trying to jump in the back line, but as soon as the silence fades, they will try to turn this back around. And the, oh, the freezing field is doing so much damage. Kaz will go down eventually, surely, but he's channeled almost a full duration freezing field. And even though Spank's here for the cleanup, they need to find him oh, the they still can't kill him. No, Bala don't. still melts him. Oh my god. So they have to go for buybacks, although Zemistry is going to be taking it. Ward tracking this movement of 
No, not tracking the movement just yet. Still, Torrent's being dodged. Kaz actually going to come in, but the Global Science comes out as well. There's going to be no webs for this Broodmother really to use. And the Root comes in. Surely just should be able to kill Zemistry this time around. Overextending that on the wrong side. Raw does go down to the Sansa. They get one pick off. Freezing Field. You're going to be channeled as long as possible. Now, the pick off onto the Marana does go down. Tiny has also died at the same time. So that's going to be the buyback used. But the Necrobook, this is where the Necrobook time is going to be very useful for Lord Boons. They're going to try to charge in at the stage as another swap. They're going to try and keep Andro stunned down, locked down as well. It's going to work out perfectly favorably. Well, they have no mana on. They have no mana, but the silence goes on. They're dropping sentry wards, and they should be able to get the kill. No drum charge is going to be used by Tiny. So that's going to be gold going over. Now it looks like Tien looking to angling to try to pick up as many gold as he can. So there it is. There's some of it. But Broodmother's going to come straight in. So there. Oh, that's actually a really nice combo into the Kunker to try to burst him down. They managed to do so. The ship comes forward just a little bit too late. Nether swap as well to bring the snow into the front line. That's what I was talking about. The VS Power just switching it out. Now it's also Mirana going down. And well, Kunker buys back, but there's not really many buybacks otherwise, and they're just getting picked up. They're just picking up one kill up. I don't think they. Okay, so Tiny's been picked up, so Barla is going to have to try to get out of there, but it's a perfect setup this time around, and Fox is going to instantly take him out pretty easily. Kaz also not realizing the danger is going to be going here, have a free 261 gold. Xavier, the last one. But it still feels like Natural 9 have this game in their hands at the stage as Triant should be TPing out at the moment. Where'd that gem go? Okay, so Moonlight Shadow being used, but it's too late to, because there's been a pickoff on Brew, I mean, not on Brew, sorry, but on on Snow, onto the Drown. Now they're going to try and burst down this Beastmaster. Good lineup, good damage, but they can't... Oh, Shatan just switching forward, uh, swapping him away just at the right time. Dust also being used as well. Oh, this might be absolutely disastrous. There's absolutely no buyback on one of their cores. And this is where Zemistry can just go straight in and just do so much damage. Meteor Hammer onto absolutely nothing at all. Oh my god. Kill Boons there. Like, he was. All they had to do was commit onto Boons, kill him, and they would have been able to oh, get out. Oh no, this now. is going from bad to worse at the moment. They are 80 seconds on the Kunkka. They're just going to go straight in, just try to take out as much as they can. I think they might have a gem on one of these members. That's a very early GG call, but that is actually just natural nine. Just with a single glimpse of a chance, they take it. And they win.